How's it going, guitar brothers and sisters? Rob Mills here, Diamond guitarist, former Diamond Head guitarist. If you haven't heard of Diamond Head, then you probably don't know who Metallica or Megadeth are either. <laughs> Diamond Head were massive influences on Metallica and Megadeth, so much so that Metallica covered four Diamond Head songs on their early recordings. Lars Ulrich went to watch Diamond Head in England and stayed at the singer's house for about six weeks. So there's a bit of rock history for you. And uh, today's video, the subject is why it's essential as a guitarist, as a learning guitarist who wants to get really good, to have guitar heroes. So, you know, my first guitar hero was Slash. That's the reason I picked up a guitar in the first place. And I think we all have that initial wow moment where we just like, wow, I've got to play guitar because I've seen it. And that was mine. So comment down below what was your what was your uh, wow I've have just have to play guitar moment that was mine but then further on from that I really got into like Steve Vai, Joe Satriani you know these kind of players that were doing amazing stuff at the time I picked the guitar up in 1990 <laughs> that was pretty much when Passion and Warfare came out and uh, you know Surfing with the Alien was out a bit earlier than that so it was that boom time in uh, sort of like instrumental guitar albums and I, I really loved it and I was like, well, if I'm gonna be learning off anybody, I might as well be learning off these guys who are considered to be the, you know, some of the best guitarists in the world. But just not only that, learning all these new techniques and stuff like that, some of the stuff that Satch does and, um, and just having that, that goal, right? It's like, well, if I can get like to like half as good as these guys, I'm gonna be half decent, right? Uh, so definitely, have your guitar heroes, have the people that you look up to and that you try to emulate and that you try to get some of the techniques down that they're doing and listen to what they're saying about, you know, exercises that you can practice and whatnot. These goddamn mosquitoes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, um, put your top, top five guitarists. Uh, for me it'd be Slash, Josh Atriani, Steve Vai, Jimmy Page, and maybe Paul Gilbert. Uh, all for slightly different reasons. But yeah, of course there's you know, there's always going to be people are going to have a different top five for whatever reasons. Uh, it's a beautiful thing. So have your guitar heroes. Listen to them. Try to emulate them. And then hopefully you become like a combination of all of those different forces. And you uh, get your own sound. Uh, you don't want to be copying them that much that you just sound exactly like them. But you take elements of what they do. I think everyone does that. And then you become your own... You get your own sounds, hopefully. Anyway, so uh, oh, one more thing before I go. Um, I always have to mention this because it's pretty, uh, it's pretty important for you as a, a struggling guitarist that if you want to overcome your struggles and your plateaus, then uh, I certainly I'm doing one-to-one -one online lessons right now for a really super affordable price. I have my two coaching programs, Speed Mechanics, which is based on the book by Troy Stettner and uh, Improvisation Nation. There's two coaching programs there, both two months long. Both still at half price actually, because I'm doing a deal on those until, uh, until the end of the year, probably now. So uh, I've had like seven or eight people come in on each of those uh, coaching programs and, and doing really good. Uh, the testimonials are coming in now. So yeah, drop a comment below if you're interested in those as well. And uh, peace from a beautiful place here in Colombia. And we'll speak, speak to you soon. Hey everybody. I don't usually do stuff like this. Uh, but I felt absolutely compelled to give a big shout out to Rob and his speed mechanics program for guitar. I've been playing for about 15 or so years now. Um, but I can say that for at least the last 11 of those years, I have been stuck in this rut, just not really knowing how to improve. You know, I'm, I'm a completely self-taught guitar player and I went about as far as I could go until I just didn't really know where to go with it. Um, I came across this program not too long ago and, you know, just thought I'd give it a shot and my mind has been blown wide open with all the possibilities and the hidden potential that I have inside of me. And I have Rob to thank for that. 
he's very informative. Um, a great teacher. He's got all these great exercises that he's given me, and I've been working on them every day. And I've just, I've just noticed already. I'm about halfway through the course, and I've just already noticed a significant improvement in my playing. And it makes me so happy that I'm going to be able to play to the uh, play to the ability like I want to. Just today during my guitar practice, and the reason I wanted to make this video is because I had an epiphany. And I guess apparently for 15 years, the picking technique I've developed is just totally wrong. And I realized that while I was working through some scales and some stuff that Rob gave me, I'm, you know, I'm trying to improve my speed and I just realized the way that I'm going about it, I'm only ever going to be able to play so fast. And, um, so now, you know, I've realized I have this habit that I need to break, but I'm determined to push through it. And without, without Rob, I, I, uh, I never would have come to that realization on my own. It's not even something he pointed out to me. It's it's something I just realized during my practice this morning. And it's a it's a real game changer. Um if if any of you out there is looking to you know improve your skills on guitar, I'd I'd say give him a chance. Rob Mills at Speed Mechanics. It's really worth it. It's really it's been a game changer for me. And I I regret nothing.